In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make one of these test adapters. This is going to become an indispensable part of your diagnostic toolkit for any two and four stroke engine, and it's only going to cost a couple of dollars to make. This adapter will take place of the spark plug in your cylinder head, and in a two stroke engine, it will allow you to do a pressure and a vacuum test, and in a four stroke engine, it's going to allow you to do a leak down test. One really useful aspect of this tester is it actually covers a broad range of equipment. Two and four stroke engines, your lawn mowers, your leaf blowers, your chainsaws, most of them take an M14 by 1.25 thread. Some of the more modern equipment does take a smaller spark plug, so just pop it out, measure it, and just double check. You can even make specific adapters for specific equipment as and where you deem necessary. Along with the spark plug, we do need an air fitting or a barb. It doesn't really matter on the size, as long as it fits inside the threaded portion of your spark plug, it will be absolutely fine. And then we need an O-ring. It really doesn't matter if it's a little bit tight or a little bit loose. And then last but not least, of course, we need the sealant. I generally recommend an epoxy. JB Weld is gonna be absolutely fine. The first step in making the adapter is to remove the crimp that surrounds the porcelain. Ideally, you're gonna use a hacksaw blade, a die grinder, an angle grinder. At a push, you probably could get away with a file, but it's just gonna take a bit more time. Once you've removed that crimp, you're gonna find the porcelain insert is going to come out. That's gonna leave us the housing for the spark plug adapter. And while we've got the hacksaw, die grinder, Dremel, whatever you've used to cut that crimp, also just remove that crush washer as well. We don't need that, and we're gonna replace that crush washer with our O-ring. Doesn't really matter on the material, silicon, rubber, nitrile, viton, it's just there to make a good tight seal. Now we've removed that crimp, it is worth just gently filing that surface, going over with some sandpaper, just to take off any of those sharp edges. Now we wanna make sure the inside of this adapter is really nice and clean. And last but not least, just clean the outside of the spark plug because we're gonna put some masking tape around there, which is gonna to help to keep the epoxy in place. Now just place the barb inside the spark plug adapter and we're gonna to start to pour in this epoxy or glue until it comes just about level. We now have to leave this for about 12 to 24 hours, make sure that epoxy is fully cured, you're then done. It really is that simple and it's gonna allow you to test so many different pieces of equipment so quickly and easily without having to buy the OEM tool, the original engine manufacturer's adapter that they want you to use. It will save you so much money in doing so and you'll find that it's a really versatile tool across the board. If you find that certain equipment has a smaller or larger spark plug, repeat the same process using that spark plug for that machine. You have a little selection of them, you can pull them out when you need them, and you're gonna find that it really will be an indispensable part of your toolkit that you're gonna keep on grabbing. Of course, now that you've got the adapter, you need to know how to do a pressure and vacuum test. This video here is gonna help talk you through the whole process from start to finish so that you can diagnose your two-stroke engines at home. 